Todd. I'm the owner at Newport Coast White Deverly's. This is 51-year-old Mitchell Todd, seen here in a 2010 YouTube video advertising his Orange County Dove Release business. A white dove release is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Todd was arrested by Laguna Beach police at his Huntington Beach house on Tuesday where inside they found an arsenal of more than 50 firearms, including AK-47s, sniper rifles, and stockpiled ammunition. It's definitely an arsenal. We're trying to figure out why one person would have in excess of 50 guns. At least in my career, it's, uh, it's, it stems up there with the top five. This is definitely an amount of uh, weaponry that uh, is not for personal use. Sergeant Jim Coda of Laguna Beach PD tells me detectives also found a Confederate flag inside of Todd's home, as well as Nazi memorabilia. We also found um, some, uh, some memorabilia that was referenced like the Third Reich and uh, Nazi paraphernalia that uh, we're going to look into just to see if there's any ties to any, uh, any hate groups or anything like that. Sergeant Coda says detectives begin investigating Todd in mid-November after he allegedly made physical threats to a man he had a business dispute with. That man had hired Todd to release doves at his son's funeral and there was a dispute about payment. The suspect had, had made a, a verbal threat sta stating uh, words of the effect of uh, maybe you need to go uh, be with your son. You could tell the uh, voicemails and text messages became more and more threatening. And then the tip of the iceberg was hearing the, uh, the, release, the releasing of a, of a handgun slide. So at that point we knew that uh, we were dealing with somebody who's got the potential of uh, extreme violence. That's when police got their search warrant. And on Tuesday, Todd was taken into custody without incident. His house is directly across the street from an elementary school. Sergeant Coda says only 12 of the recovered guns are actually registered to Todd, and he believes they might have prevented something terrible from happening. I said I couldn't be more proud of the detectives and the work that they did tonight. My gut feeling tells me that we did potentially stop something that could have been, uh, you know, uh, just I can't even put into words what, what could have been uh, uh, forthcoming. And we actually had several neighbors in the area come up to us and talk to us off camera tonight. They didn't want to go on camera. They said they're pretty scared of this guy, and they weren't surprised to hear about any of this. They actually told us that Todd is essentially known as the crazy guy living in the neighborhood. They wouldn't let their kids trick-or-treat at his house. And they also told us they've seen some of his Nazi memorabilia posted up in his windows before. Now, Laguna Beach PD says right now he's only charged with making criminal threats. He's still in their custody tonight, but they expect more charges are going to be added on once they go through all the those weapons again only 12 of them were registered to him and they also believe that they're going to have to get the feds involved the DOJ as well as the ATF they're also again going to be investigating any potential nexus between the suspect and any known hate groups out there we're live in Huntington Beach tonight Bill Malugin Fox 11 News